Now let's take a look at a demo to illustrate our string sample. Let's go to Visual Studio and see what it looks like. Here's my sample program in which I'm creating new strings, concatenating them, adding special characters, and using methods to manipulate the strings. I'll go ahead and run it by clicking the green play button so I can look at it side by side with my code. So initially, I'm creating a new first name and last name variable. I'm printing them out as is right here. And then after that, I'd like to combine them by doing console.write line first and last, but with the backslash n and the backslash t. And that creates a new line right after my first name and a tab character right before my last name. I'm printing out my full name, Shahid Chaudhary, in one line by concatenating with a plus sign and adding a space in between. Next, I'm printing out my full name in all caps by using dot two upper. And then I'm formatting my full name by using string dot format. In this case, I am replacing zero and one, these two placeholders with my first name and my last name. I could add additional placeholders, zero, one, two, and so on, to create a formatted string. Next, let's scroll down a little here to look at String Builder. I'm appending different values to a String Builder object, and finally I'm spitting it out using dot two string. So in the sample, you'll see that it looks like I'm printing it out in one full shot. The, again, the reason we do this is because if we had just appended strings multiple times, that would destroy and recreate the strings in memory. And we're avoiding that by using String Builder. Next, we're splitting up the string into multiple letters. And the way we do that is we break it up using a character array. So we use a two car array method, to split up my full name into character array. And then we use a for each loop to loop through each of the letters in that array. And then we're uh, splitting it up and uh, also displaying them one by one. Finally, the last two lines down here says replace first name and substring your first name. The dot replace method or the replace method replaces the letter H with the letter T. So my name Shahid becomes stated. And then finally, we're replacing uh, or pulling out rather a substring in which case we take the second character, or rather, when you start counting with zero, zero, one, two, uh, and start printing out three letters. So we have SHA, uh, which is the third letter, but it, when it's zero index, it becomes the second count. And then we print out three letters, which is AHE. Uh, so again, this covers our string demo, and we hope to see you in the next video.